Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Eat In A Day video. Thank you so much for joining me today for a fantastic day of food. And you may notice I'm in workout gear. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you will know that the least thing I like to do is any kind of exercise and working out. But um, if you've watched my recent video where I talked about where I was and the fact that I'd taken a break and the fact that my anxiety was bad and my fitness levels, despite me being so slight and small, I'm not actually that fit. So I wanted to address all of these things and everyone kept saying, you know, running is fantastic for that. So I took up the couch to 5K. I'm actually due to go on my second run today. It's going really well, um, but also I'm doing daily yoga um, with Adrian, and I love it. I've just finished my morning session, so I'm hungry, I'm ready for breakfast, and I'm thinking about having a beautiful bowl of porridge with Biscoff spread to treat myself for all the running that I'm doing. Don't worry guys, I'm not planning to lose weight, um, so I'm going to up my calories. So if you see me eating large portions or more um, calorific things throughout the day, that's because I'm trying to compensate for the fact that I am now working out. Um, every day of the week I'm doing yoga and I'm running three days a week as well. So that is a bit of an explanation behind that. Um, I don't track my fitness points or anything like that. In regards to WW, feel free to do that guys. Um, feel free to take up the challenge with me. I'm literally on day two, so you're welcome to join me. Keep me updated on your progress as well. Um, I'm gonna link Adrian's channel in the description. I'm sure many of you that do yoga are already familiar with her, but for now, let's get on with breakfast. Not even sure what I'm having for lunch, not sure what I'm having for dinner, but let's get on with the day anyways. So when it comes to my breakfast, I'm having my staple, which is some ready break. You guys have seen me have this a ton of times. It's just the oats that I like. And I'm going to be pairing it with some Biscoff. I'd recently run out. I've got myself a new jar. I have some demerara sugar, some flaked almonds that I like to sprinkle on top as well. And of course my berries. So I'm just going to assemble that all together and drizzle some warm Biscoff on the top. But it's going to be delicious. If you've not tried Biscoff on your porridge, I know we always say this, but you really need to. Now I'm just going to add my berries and my Biscoff. This is about three to four points per teaspoon, I think. I'm not 100% sure. To be honest, I've never really tracked it or caged it um, because ever since I started having it, most of the time I was on maintenance. But feel free to track it more accurately. But I just get myself a nice scoop and pop it on the top. Honestly, guys, this starts to melt and it just... It just tastes really caramelly and just gorgeous. Um, I know so many of you have started having Biscoff with your porridge and I always get pictures and messages. You guys love it just as much as me. And it's a nice little treat. It's a nice little autumnal kick. Speaking of, I'm gonna add some flaked almonds. And I know this might be a bit extra, but just a tiny sprinkling of demerara sugar to give both texture and to add and intensify the caramel flavor. So I've decided to go for my run before I have lunch, just to kind of get it out of the way. And also, it's actually quite cold today, so I feel like it might go dark a little bit earlier than it has been going tonight. So I'm just getting myself ready to go out for a run, and then I'll come back and have my lunch. Because I kind of feel like I don't overly like to run after food. So ideally, I'll go on my run either before lunch or I will go on it. Um, before I have my dinner early evening. So that is the plan now. So I'm just getting myself ready to go on a run and then I'll come back in. I'll be definitely ready for lunch by then because running definitely makes me hungry. So I'm just popping my earphones on. By the way, if you're interested in any of the workout gear that I'm wearing, this jacket is by Puma. I really like it. The top that I'm wearing underneath is by Yvette. These sports leggings I got from Amazon and they're great. And these headphones that are brilliant, they're kind of, they don't move when you're running or jogging and you can also hear traffic around you. I can hear my friend when I'm running as well because we chat, but they don't come off and they're Bluetooth so they're wireless. They're by Aftershocks, I'll link them down below in my Amazon page and I'll also link them because they're great, especially if you're a runner or if you just like headphones that don't really get in the way at all. And yeah, they're really, really cool. And also, running trainers wise, I have my Nikes that I've had for a couple of years actually now. So I'm just going to pop those on, head out for my run, and I'll see you guys back here for lunch in about 40 minutes or so. Second run is done. Honestly, the first run I found it not as hard, but as the runs went on throughout the program, like second run, third run, fifth run of the session, 
and um, they got harder of course as they went on I don't remember it being that much of a challenge this time round but hey I feel like it's a step in the right direction um, I'm definitely not as tired as I was the first time which is really good I'm kind of not panting as much as I was before but I'm definitely tired so yeah I'm gonna hit the shower but thumbs up I have a very simple lunch today. I have these Tesco's Finest Sourdough Crumpets. I have had these before, but I can't remember how many points they are, so I'll check that in a moment. I also have some grey cheese, which I mix with cheddar. This combination is so good because you get the gorgeous tanginess of the cheddar, but also the really meltiness, tear apart stringiness from the grey. So I really love that. I can never seem to remember how many points this sourdough is. I will track that now. Okay, so it's three points per crumpet. Um, so I'm going to track that absolutely fine with me, especially considering the fact that I've just been on a run. So even though I don't track, I'm just going to record that so I know exactly what they were. So that is six points for that. And as I mentioned, I have some grey hair and some regular mature cheddar. I'm not having low fat today, but I do have some lighter patoli that I'm going to be using. So I have that and I also have some caramelised red onion chutney. So I'm going to get these open, pop them in the toaster. And again, it's a very simple one, this, but it's just, it's really comforting. I really do love um, crumpets, and again, I don't have them frequently, and with the fact that these are sourdough, they just have a nicer texture than a regular crumpet, I feel. I'm not going to weigh out my cheese, because to be quite honest, again, I'm not being totally accurate about things, but when I was losing weight, I would grate cheese onto the weighing scale, and I would have an accurate serving in regards to how many points something would cost me. But again, I'm not I'm not aiming to lose weight, I'm on maintenance. So for me, I'm not I'm not bothering about being too precious about it, especially because I'm running as well. But I would say that's about two points worth, if I'm honest. And I'm also gonna have some regular cheese, which I'm hoping will melt. If not, I will get it in the microwave and melt it down because I prefer a melted cheese crumpet. Oh, there's my grater. <laughs> I've already got it out. How efficient. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit, and I would say that my cheese is going to equate to about five points altogether. So that is definitely enough for the two crumpets. So I would say about five points worth of cheese and then the six points for the crumpets. So it is quite hefty, an 11 point lunch, but again, with me working out, I'm more than happy to spend it on it. I'm going to get my tolly again. This is something I would have tracked back in the day, but I'm not. I don't even think I overly tracked butter when I was losing weight, if I'm honest, because I didn't have that much of it. So I didn't see the point, um, and it's the same with olive oils. So I didn't want to be discouraged from having olive oil because it's a good fat and it's something that it does well for me in my diet. I don't like to exclude it and use sprays. So that's the reason I'm not as precious about condiments and things like that because I feel like they're just, they can be too point dense and it would discourage me from carrying on because I do like butter and I do like ketchup and mayo. So, I mean, even though I do have the light mayo, I don't ever tend to track it. The only thing I do track is things like coleslaw. So I don't track condiments like this either. But if you were to put them in the app, they would have a point value. guys lunch with a coke zero the sourdough crumpets with cheese and caramelized red onion i'm gonna go and enjoy i'm back from quite a cold school run actually um i think it's because i've just had a shower and was kind of relaxing i got all warm and cozy i had to go outside but i've decided to have something a bit different so normally you guys know i love my nest cafe sachets i adore them i i've been having them so so frequently and i just love them I noticed that these were on offer in Tesco and they're kind of Starbucks's version. So they're a similar kind of thing where you just add water and you get that latte effect with the creaminess. And I thought I would give them a try just to see, you know, if they taste any different. Um, so what I am going to do, because these are completely new to me, is I'm going to check these on the app and see if they're the same as WW. They're actually less. They're a point less per sachet, which is crazy. These lattes are actually the same point value as a skinny latte in the last cave in the last cafe version sorry so i'm gonna have one of those i'm really happy about that so i'm just gonna stick the kettle on and get one in and they just come in sachets like you just pour them into a cup and add water and then you're pretty much done it'll definitely be interesting to see if these froth up and they look like they do they look really similar actually and um, these were actually on offer um two pounds box at tesco at the moment so if you want to try them, definitely go and check Tesco out at the moment. And you know how I mentioned I'm going to be upping my calories because the running for me isn't for weight loss, it's for toning up and for my mental health. 
um, which means that I need to up my calories because the last thing I want to do at eight stone odd is lose weight. So I have these that Andrew picked me up from Tesco and they're the Dairy Milk Caramel Nibbles. I'm not going to weigh these out. Back in the day, I would have weighed these out and had like a specific point serving, but I'm just going to have a few with my coffee and see how I do. I won't have loads because it's nearly dinner time. And speaking of, I need to get my cookbooks out and find a recipe for some chicken and get inspired. But before that, I'm going to have some of these. So yeah, and feel free to stick these in a bowl and weigh them out and get an accurate point serving. Hello. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to go and enjoy my coffee with these. As you can see, this is not the dinner I had planned, guys. But basically, what has happened is, Tesco delivered us a food shop last night. And the chicken that they sent actually goes off tomorrow. So it should have been okay. Even though I do feel like they should have sent one that had a few days left. And when I opened it, it just didn't smell right. So... I had to go to my treasure trove in the freezer and I found these homemade chicken nuggets that I made a couple of weeks back so I've warmed up those I have done a what I eat in a day where I include the recipe for these or it might have been what my kids eat in a day I'll include it they are quite healthy they're skinless chicken breast with panko breadcrumbs so not too bad I would definitely say for this portion probably about six or seven points I've also got some french fries and some baked beans bit of a kids dinner I mean I'm not overly sad about it because I mean, doesn't it look delicious still? But a little bit disappointed that I couldn't cook up something lovely for you guys to see. But that will definitely be in the next one. But for now, I'm going to go and enjoy my homemade chicken nuggets, beans and chips. That was a bit of an anticlimax to the evening, wasn't it? I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I love chicken nuggets. I love chips. I love beans. And sometimes, especially now the kids are back to school, sometimes a kid's tea or a convenience tea is just what the doctor ordered. And those chicken nuggets were ones I made myself. I knew exactly what was in them. They were relatively healthy, so I wasn't too sad about it. But a um, bit of an anticlimax, as I said. So I'm actually recording a what I eat in a day today as well. And I'm whipping up some salt and pepper chicken. So make sure that you stay tuned for the next one um, that you're about to see. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box for links and recipes and outfit details, all of that good stuff. And I will see you in my next one um, for something more exciting, that's for sure.